All right, hey, how's it going, everybody? Today we're going to do a review of my Panama cab. I'm running a um, Dark Terror by Orange. And we're going to do this on 7 watts because we're just sitting right here. That is stinking loud. That's one thing about this thing, it's not a very quiet amp. System here, if it's going to let you do it, but anyway, you can turn it up and down, get a little more hair on it. You can cut it back, take some of the hair off of. Anyway, back up. Whoa, swivel chair action right there, baby. Check that out. Alright, so let's give this thing some beef. had to do a review on a cab before so tones you get from amp is irrelevant by them all coming out into the gay rage there's a working man in his garage anyhow that face comes right off like that and I don't know if you can tell how beautiful that color is from my crappy video taking skills that I have here but it's fantastic absolutely beautiful and, uh, like I said, it's a cannabis rat speaker. You're not going to be able to get that anymore. It was a special deal. But that bloodwood is fantastic. And it's all the way around it. It's not a thin piece either. There's nothing if you knock on this that sounds hollow. It is a tank. And for sound comparison, I really do like how they do their screen on the cape, on the cover. It does make a difference. So uh, this is what it sounds like without the screen. <laughs>
anyhow, that's it. It looks pretty, pretty awesome. As Ryan at RNA Music says, it's pretty swanky. So, turn off the dark tear here for a second. I'll give you a peek at the back of this because the back is equally pretty damn cool. Let's show you the attenuator. And it's a beastly up cab, man. It's at least four inches thicker than most. So you got your attenuator right here, which is what turns down the volume. And if you're the type that likes an open back, this right here pops right off. You got a half open back, just like that. It's really slick. Everything fits tight, goes together well. Nothing about this thing is crap built. Everything's heavy, it weighs a ton. If anybody works with wood and you touch one of these, you know it's not a piece of shit. It's, it's excellent. It's great. Sorry about the curse. It's early in the morning. I'm still on coffee number one. But uh, it's great. Everything's high quality on it. A lot of the stuff is like literally handwritten on it. Because it's not like pushed out in factories by the droves. And it's made in Panama. And uh, it's fantastic. Build quality is crazy. Rock solid corners. Actually, here, I can put this right up and give you all a really good look at her. I never thought of doing that. I'm not used to using the handicam action. But, you know, you get this right here. And that's not a tiny little thing. That's a... Am my aiming so good, is it? It's rock solid. Uh, you get a really good look at that. Blood red wood there. That is just absolutely amazing. Quality of, quality of it is just crazy. Like I said, you know, I have a pretty big mitts, but um, what would somebody know? Oh, guitar headstock. Here we go. Because you all know about the size of a strat size headstock. And size difference, that's, you know, that's a beastly cab. By the way, today I was using the EVH and the uh, Dark Terror. Sorry about my, like I said, horrible skills in doing this. Bang, crash. There's the, uh, Attenuator, excellent brass knob. Everything's like secured in there in really good shape. Here's a good look at the Patriot Cannabis Rex by Eminence. Fantastic. To show you this front is not just a facade. It's bloodwood. Look at that. It's not just an outside paint job. Anyhow, let's crash that into a few more things. and Oh, let's see if I can do this one-handed. All right. Put that in there, do -do -do, drop her into space, pop it in. It's just a pretty looking cab. Anyhow, catch you all later. Bye-bye.